Hello, my name is Sam Hoadley, coming to you from Mount Cuba Center's Trial Garden. Uh, behind us, we have some of our trials that are going on. We do trials on native plants, and we're looking at them from a garden standpoint, but also from a pollinator standpoint. We'll be giving you an update today about what's happening in the trial garden right now, and giving you a little sneak preview of how we do our pollinator wash team program. So behind me is our hydrangea trial. This is our fifth and final year for this trial program. Um, we are trialing hydrangea arborescens, hydrangea cinerea, and hydrangea radiata. We're looking at them from both a garden standpoint and from a pollinator standpoint. In particular, we're interested in to see which of these plants is preferred by pollinators, um, with particular emphasis on lace cap hydrangea types. So this is your more wild type hydrangea with fertile flowers in the middle, and our mop head hydrangeas down there, which are more of those cloud form flower types. So in front of me, this is hydrangea cinerea or ashy hydrangea. You can see there's tons of pollinator activity on this plant. Um, the way we categorize that and monitor it is through our volunteer um, program called the Pollinator Watch Team. This is a group of dedicated volunteer citizen scientists who are coming and counting these plants on a daily basis and looking at how many pollinators are coming to a single inflorescence on one of these hydrangea. Normally in other trials, like with our Solidago trial or our Vernonia trial, we're, we would be looking at one plant as a whole and counting exactly how many pollinator visitors are coming to that single plant. With this hydrangea, there's so much going on, there's so many different inflorescences, there's so many insects coming to these flowers, we only are counting from a single inflorescence. And over, over two years, from 2018 to 2019, we have counts that are in the hundreds on some of these lace cap flower types, where the, some of the mop heads, the counts are much, much lower. So in this section of the trial garden, this is our goldenrod trial. Uh, this was actually recently planted uh, this past fall. We have 69 different goldenrods we're observing from a garden standpoint, and again, from a pollinator standpoint. Uh, we are just starting to have a few of these goldenrods begin to bloom. Uh, the bulk of the trial will really be blooming late summer, early fall, but we are monitoring these plants for pollinator activity as well. Um, as opposed to the hydrangea where we're looking at one inflorescence, with the goldenrods, we're looking at one plant as a whole, and we're counting all the insects that are coming to these plants. Primarily, we're seeing a lot of smaller insects, small bees, small flies, um, and we're gonna be really interested in identifying some of those insects in more detail as this trial progresses. Next to me, this is the first Vernonia to bloom every year for us. This is Vernonia fasciculata, or smooth ironweed. We have several different, ex different accessions, and this accession in particular seems to be blooming earlier. The pollinator watch team will count this, um, the pollinators coming to this plant in addition to the hydrangeas, and once the hydrangeas finish, they will shift completely over to the Vernonias and to the Solidago section of the trial garden. Thanks so much for joining us today. Um, come check out the hydrangeas. They'll be blooming for another couple of weeks till about mid-July, and then also the Solidago and the Vernonia are gonna continue to, to be interesting, and really late summer, early fall, this place is gonna be alive with color and alive with insects. So thanks again for joining us.